Brand new, Elementor now has an AI image generator. So if you pay for Midjourney or use a different image generator for free or even Midjourney for free, you might not need it anymore. We're gonna find out in this video how capable the Elementor image generator is. First thing you wanna do is drag and drop an image widget. Click on the AI icon. It's currently in beta or still in beta as you can see. Click this check mark if you haven't used AI on your site before through Elementor. Click on get started and here we create our images. And so far, these ones here look pretty solid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a prompt into Elementor and put the same prompt into Midjourney to see how comparable the images are. Our youngest daughter, who is currently four years old, really likes unicorns and dragons and things like that. So I was making some stickers for her and the prompt I used in Midjourney was a cute cartoon dragon combined with a unicorn on a white background. It's only one with a horn. The other ones don't look like unicorns, but they look like dragons and they're cute and she loved these things. So we're gonna see what Elementor does with this same prompt. Just copy this, paste it into here. For image type, I'm gonna choose digital art. Updated all these previews here as well. For style, I'm gonna choose cartoon. There's a whole bunch of styles you can choose from. We'll go through those in a bit. Also a bunch of aspect ratios, which is basically the dimensions of the image as a ratio. Click on generate images to see what it creates. And we'll also see how long it takes. It probably only takes a few seconds. It probably even uses a Midjourney API. And so far, I mean, they, they look like dragons and unicorns. It definitely got the, the dragon part and the unicorn part pretty well, whereas Midjourney didn't. Midjourney just had one horn right here. That's it. There's a horn there. Two horns. And I didn't say make two dragons, but everyone thinks it has two dragons. Anyway, I find these ones look way cuter. When I say a cute dragon, these ones aren't that cute. This is this is be nice for like a, a kid's bedroom. This one right here. Okay, let's see if we can change our settings here for this to get something different. Let's try fantasy art. Generate again. And as far as I know, there's no quota for how many images you can generate. Whereas if you use Midjourney Free, I believe it's like two, no, 10, 20 a month. I've got one of the paid plans, so I got, I've got a whole lot more. But this is looking a little better. Not a super cute dragon. They're pretty serious. This one's kind of cute. Uh, but this isn't really what I'm looking for. Comic book. Let's try one more, the comic book. See if we can get close to what Midjourney generates. Definitely more comic-y. So it's definitely taking into account the settings we're choosing, but it's not like a super cute dragon. Um, let's try something else. This is my idea testing server with Midjourney mostly for stickers and things. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's try a logo. A business logo that screams success. Midjourney thinks it looks like that. Although I don't see a, a logo option. Maybe make that digital art and make it vector. Generate. Oh, definitely logos. But they're not as crisp as these ones. It's open to interpretation of what uh, a logo that screams success looks like. But it's, it's pretty good. Let's try something else. Let's try... Um, Let's try Arnold Schwarzenegger running on a treadmill as a photographic style landscape generate. Well, actually, you know what? It says generate here in a new prompt. Let's try a new prompt. Maybe it's taking into account all the previous iterations. That does not look like Arnold. I'm sorry. This one you could confuse with Arnold, maybe, because you can't see his face. He might have a giant beard there. But these other three, that's not Arnold. Come on. Come on now. I'm trying a new prompt. Instead of regenerating, let's try portrait again. Let's make the aspect ratio 16 by nine. Let's put the same prompt into mid journey, 16 by nine. So here's, uh, is this Arnold running on a treadmill? Mm, looks like Two-Face walking through an office full of treadmills. That's not Arnold. And this is not Arnold. And this one, Terminator Arnold. I mean, the, the guys are, are ripped. Like, a lot of these guys are in really good shape. So it gets that. It kind of gets the hairline, too, but it's not getting Arnold. And then this one here, apparently Arnold screams a lot. So a lot of these are Arnold screaming. This isn't Arnold either. This guy's pretty close. I thought Midjourney would nail that a little bit better. Okay, new one. Let's do Sylvester Stallone Cyberpunk. See what that generates. Make a new prompt. Style, landscape. It's not landscape. I'm not talking picture style. Let's do portrait. Oops, I also had portrait there. I meant to do 16 by 9, but we'll still get the idea. We'll see if Sly Stallone actually makes an appearance in these pictures. 
I was surprised that Mid Journey didn't get. Look at that. What are we doing here? Portrait. Two noses. Maybe let's do style none. Obviously, you have to play around with the different styles to actually understand what it's trying to make. Because I'm trying to make a photographic, and those are cartoony. These are also cartoony. This one's a photograph. That's kind of Stallone. What does this guy have growing on his chin? This one's probably the closest, but he's got something growing there too, and his, his eye is sunken way back, like Stallone's are, but it's a little too far. Looks a little creepy. And Mid Journey, this one looks like... No, doesn't look like... The, this one looks the most like Stallone, but Mid Journey is pretty cool like for, for the cyberpunk like it's really getting the the visuals that i want from a very short prompt whereas this one like are these cyberpunk i don't, I don't know what no not even close mid journey understands instructions better i think and if you're finding this tutorial helpful click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on youtube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information so make sure you click like if you like this video. Uh, you can also use uh, face swapping with the InSwapper app that you can tie into your mid-journey servers and then you can get it to look just like Sylvester Stallone. And in fact, just for fun, from the AI Underground channel, well, that's not it, All right, I made a new server. I was face swapping Stallone and Arnold for Ben Stiller and what's this guy's name? What's his face? Ben Stiller and what's his face? So I was face swapping those guys with the app now you can tell they're not Ben Stiller and uh, Owen Wilson, that's it. So you can tell that face swapping does something. But there, there's all kinds of apps you can add on to Mid Journey to make it even better, to make it look even more like these people. And in fact, I had it generate, like this one here, I had it generate um, an Arnold Schwarzenegger picture. This is Arnold Schwarzenegger in Guardians of the Galaxy, was this one. And then I face swapped Arnold's picture onto Arnold's generated image. And that's what resulted in this. So it looks, this looks way more like Arnold out of anything that we've done here. Look at this one. Arnold's in Pulp Fiction. Like, that's pretty solid. And we face swapped Arnold into there. And after we generated the image as Arnold through the instructions, we face swapped Arnold's picture we're using the Face Swapper app. There's a video that covers that on the other channel. I'll link to that in the description down below if you want to do that kind of thing. And those kind of extensions and different apps currently are not here in Elementor. And this isn't even Cyberpunk, so I don't know what this what this is. You can enhance a prompt by clicking on that little pencil icon, a little AI icon. Ah, so we put that little, basically we put this sentence in there. So that's just alone cyberpunk is what we had. It took that, enhanced the prompt. Let's see if we get something better. I'm gonna copy this into here as well to see what it generates. Over here, much more cyberpunk, but still very cartoony. I'm choosing photographic. What is he holding in this picture? Radioactive hot dog. Anyway, it looks, it looks like Stallone, right? A little bit, but you could then face swap if you're using mid journey to have it look more like Stallone. That's not ready yet. If we click edit, we can edit these things. We can expand the image, use generative fill to also expand the image, resize it, make variations, remove the background, replace the background. Those are pretty cool to have those built right in. Maybe they'll add in a face swapper to make it, the images look more like the actual people. Let's try expanding the background. We're already 16 by nine, original image size. Let's do it like that. Describe what we want, expand the city in the background. Maybe enhance that prompt. It seems to help quite a bit to get us towards Stallone as Cyberpunk. And a couple of these worked out. This one didn't. Really didn't nail his forehead. They're all adding something weird to his head. Because the, the, the original images cut his head off at the top. This one's probably the best one, I think. But that's pretty slick, expanding the image. Before we carry on the other tools, let's look back over here. Like, this is like... It doesn't look like Stallone, but it's it's really nailing the cyberpunk and the photorealistic. So this is the exact same prompt, if you recall. We just copied and pasted it. So Mid Journey creates very highly detailed, very realistic looking images, if that's what the prompt is going for. Whereas the AI ones are pretty simplistic, I think. All right, let's try a generative fill. We're going to use the big brush, and I'm going to take that out right there. This is where I want it to fill something in. I'm going to say... Uh, cyberpunk airplane flying over the city. And I'll improve the prompt by clicking that button there. There's our new prompt, generate, and it should just be replacing that area that we outlined or that we drew on. So we'll see if that's true or not. And it did, only in that area. We've got a something that has some airplane pieces. We've got something else that 
Could be part of an airplane. We've got uh, Star Wars happening in this one. And this is probably the closest one to an airplane, but uh, it's not usable. There's a lot of trial and error. A lot of trying things and doing things and seeing what happens. Let's see if we can resize this image. Make it big. Generate. Something that'll be interesting that we're gonna try out in a minute is whether the image will be the same, it's just bigger dimensions now. If we can use the expand image on an image we uploaded, which we're gonna try in a minute. Variations, this is the reference image. Um, dress the main character in a bathing suit. Let's enhance that prompt. I feel like I would always use the enhance prompt. I'm sorry, but as an AI image language model, so that didn't work out. This would not improve what we're doing here. And I can't undo that, so type it out again. Replace the main character's clothing with a bathing suit, photographic, style i'm not going to choose a style keep landscape so now it's going to use the original image here as the basis for the new one i believe it's going to be 50 50 so it's going to use this image as 50 percent weight our prompt is 50 percent weight and it's going to create a new image of super creepy looking stuff also they're not wearing bathing suits and this one is completely unfinished we can see why it's still in beta let's try remove background remove background only one button to click, nothing else to do. Now this should be our AI Stallone without the background. Yeah, nailed it. Took out part of his arm too, maybe we can edit that. Uh, no, can't do anything. But it took out the background, so that's great. Let's try replace background. Let's use this guy. No, I wanna use this. Okay, let's copy the prompt. Landscape. I was hoping you click use image to use the image for further editing, but you can't. That use image, I think, adds the image to your website. And, oh, here's a good fisherman. Look at this guy. That's actually a pretty solid generated image right there. Okay, let's uh, edit this. Let's go to replace background, English only. Let's put him on, place the fisherman on the surface of Mars. Replace background. A lot of fishing on Mars. Fishing is good this time of year. Look, he's on Mars. The horizon didn't work out, but, and his, this is kind of weird, but if they made that horizon blue, Martian sunsets are blue, or if they made it red or something else besides more sand, that could be really legit. So that's replaced background. Now let's see if we can, let's click on use image, which doesn't seem to be, seem to be working. So I can generate images, but I can't actually add them to our website. Use image, use image, it doesn't seem to do anything. I guess what you could do is, cause you can download all these. I think you can download them. Let's generate this one and then beautiful dessert. This one's kind of cool. Use image. And it says, no, edit, use image. You can hear me clicking, it's not doing anything. That's no. Um, beautiful dessert, as in the food, the dessert. This is clearly a desert. Um, so I don't know how to get the image into, uh, into your post. So it's great that we can generate them, but how do you actually get them in there? I guess on a, on a Mac, you can press uh, Command Shift 4, and you can take a screenshot of that. And that'll put the image on my hard drive, then I can upload it. I mean, that, that's something, but you think that button would work? Uh, yes, I'm gonna leave Elementor AI. I wanna try adding one of these. Which one should we do? Let's do this one. It's got the city, city farther in the background. And we're gonna see if we can upload an image into here and then have that, or have the AI tools available for images that we've uploaded. There we go, ready already. Ready already. Just throw that right there. Add an image. Bjorn Online. There's a lot of these. That's my Discord name for that server. Where is this guy? Okay, we gotta save it something. Say this says Stallone Cyberpunk. Go back to our site, drag and drop the image widget. Let's upload an image. Stallone Cyberpunk. There it is. All right, image is in. Now let's see if we have some AI tools. I don't wanna push this. That's create with AI. Is there any way to edit with AI? I don't think so. Let's try create with AI. Maybe it'll pull it in. It does pull it in. Let's do expand the image. Let's make it original image that big. Expand the cyberpunk city in the background. Generate. Now that's pretty cool. You can upload your own images and then use the AI features, the AI tools that Elementor has. If they introduce the face swapping, where we could swap out Stallone's fake face here with his real one. That would be legit. Look at this one. 
It seems to be a lot more grainy, a lot more fuzzy than it was than, than the one we uploaded. But these are pretty good. Some are better than others, but they're pretty grainy. And if I want to use the image, it let me do it that time. So that time I was able to use the image, but it's super grainy compared to the original. But still, you're expanding the background using AI and it's pretty slick, it looks pretty good. So for, for this, like one of the, the biggest things I'd use this for is like making hero images. Like if you had a really narrow image, maybe a stock footage image, but it was too narrow and you wanted to have the full width in the back. And if, if you put it on the back as a background for a, a section, it blows it up to be huge. Whereas here, you could make it the proper size that you want, use generative fill to just fill in whatever the background is and have it work out. As far as like front and center main piece images that aren't backgrounds, that are like focus points of your website, uh, this might not be the best. Not yet, it's still in beta, obviously. Uh, but maybe, because um, it's so grainy, right? We're, we're used to crisp images these days. And the original is really crisp. And this is kind of grainy. So I feel like there's some work to be done with the Elementor AI image generators and the tools that come with it, but it's pretty cool. Like if, if they add some more features, which I'm sure they will, they even say they will. If you go into here, stay tuned, more incredible AI tools are coming your way soon. And they're saying that on this page where they have the six different ways to ma manipulate an image. So I think possibly they'll be adding more ways to manipulate images in the future because it doesn't have that note here. Anyway, it's a start and you can do it right in your website and you can not use Midjourney or Leonardo AI or whatever else you use to make your images or even stock footage if you're still doing that. Who's still doing stock footage? Nobody, very few, <laughs> somebody must be. Uh, but anyway, it seems like a pretty cool feature to have in Elementor now, along with the other AI tools that are in Elementor. Next up, you should check out this video right here that covers the other AI tools in Elementor. So make sure you check that out. And then check out this channel down here, which is my other channel called the AI Underground, where I talk exclusively about AI tools and ways to be more productive with AI and just all the, the cool new things that AI is doing in the world and sometimes scary things that AI is doing in the world. And if you haven't done so yet, make sure to click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.